Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining our webinar today. Uh, this session will be focusing on the integrated bridge information modeling um, BRIM workflow of Open Bridge Designer and how you can have your bridge design with um, unique substructures. I'm Casey, your host today uh, for the session. I'm a product consultant for Bandlist Silver Products. With me is uh, Eugene, our product expert for Bandlist Bridge and um, Tunnel products. He has a wealth of experience with our bridge software that includes um, conducting numerous trainings and delivering professional services to our users in this region. He was also a practicing bridge engineer before he joined Benley. So before we start, I'd like to introduce our new licensing model called Virtuoso. So Benley in a continuous support to, sub um, to our bridge uh, users has developed a special commercial offering comprising of affordable and flexible software subscription bundled with customized project specific training. Virtuosity is Bentley's e commerce platform that provides easy way of purchasing practitioner licenses of Bentley software accompanied by keys. These keys are like tokens redeemable for hours of expert services provided in form of mentoring and customized training throughout the course of your subscription. All the latest version of Bentley software are available at virtuosity.com. For every license purchase, a product expert is assigned to your team within a day or so. The product expert work closely with you to understand uh, your team's skill level and project needs to customize the training. These experts come with rich experience working on similar projects. You can have the complete flexibility to choose to renew or add the license for the next 12 months, or even um, add more keys as your need arises. Virtuosity works like uh, any e-commerce e platform. You can simply add the software you want in, into the cart, make payment, and uh, within 24 hours, your license is delivered. You'll be then assigned a product expert who will work with you on the initial software setup and training. So within a week, you can potentially be equipped with the fundamental skills and the design work can be up and running for your company. This is an initiative to provide a quick and easy process for our users to access the right solution with the right support. This way you can be um, be able to start your project and just focus on uh, delivering high quality uh, work for your clients. So um, yeah, let me hand over the session to Eugene right now. So uh, before that, I would like to remind you as uh, the session goes, you can type in your questions in the uh, GoToWebinar panel in the chat section. So uh, yeah, Eugene, I'll be handing over the session to you. Okay, thank you, Casey. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for uh, thanks for joining to this webinar. Uh, again, my name is Eugene. I'm supporting bridge and tunnel design tool for a Asian public religion, and I'm excited to introduce the bridge design workflow using open bridge designer already you know that already you know have already you you know so the sentence that beam is not cat that is mean that the 3d model is just part of bridge information and we have been generating bridge information modeling and managing it you will not be able to do entire, entire of the task for the bridge design by yourself alone, but the end, the end user wants utilizing and managing generated information models for the operating and maintenance. Uh, the challenge is how are you able to integrate generated information that created from each discipline? Also, you will face on like a problem when you integrate the information model, manual data transformation, 
communication issue and manual plan production. You must be part, uh, you must be working on connected design environment and the design tool has to ready to set or get the information that created from several disciplines. Open bridge designer is a specializing tool for the bridge engineer and it is supporting the engineer to the bridge design from concept to reality modeling in uh, con conceptual de uh, connected design environment. It allows you can use a physical bridge model and analytical design tool both. GINT is used to geo uh, geotechnical information modeling. A uh, generic component will support the bridge engineer to come over modeling limitation. And Pro Concrete will be used to place the parametric lever into the model. Luminarity will, uh, will be used to simulate the reality, uh, reality mod modeling to help the engineer understanding operating condition. And RM and Libridge will use to conduct bridge analysis and design. Physical modeling on open bridge model will be based on load or rail alignment. Therefore, you must have a load alignment to procedure the bridge mod modeling. Even if the load alignment is created by another company product, open bridge model can be imported using various pile extension. Also, load alignment was create, uh, created in open load designer. This pile can be used as a reference file to the bridge model and define the future that will be engaged to the line color and style and move to attach to to attach the terrain model as a reference drawing. Once the alignment has been determined, it, the bridge type and bridge location should be determined. It. Go to add a bridge to define bridge name and type. In meantime, open bridge, open bridge model supporting deck with concrete and steel gutter, RC slab, CIP uh, concrete box, uh, segment of bridge. Assign the bridge name to the load alignment and specify bridge location through support line definition. Type desired number of support, select a start and end point with the bridge square angle. The support line can be copied in Excel and paste to open bridge model. And you can modify it anytime. Before we explain how to place segment, I want to let you know how to define balanced or unbalanced segment lengths using the vertical bar on your keyboard. We will define peer segment lengths using colon because the analytical tool like RM has to know a middle wall support point. Next step is I'm going to place the bridge segment, move to place segment to insert bridge segment on the load alignment and select a picture that predefined to design library and select the template that was defined, uh, defined the width variable for this bridge and define each number of segment and segment lengths. and place the segment to the support line.
And open bridge modeler give us the warning message because we uh, we define the segmental lengths are longer than available spacing. So modify proper segmental lengths. and place the remaining segment. And move, uh, move the close button to create a key segment. Specify maximum segment length. Then Open Bridge Modeler is looking for less than spacing and will generate the key segment automatically. We are done uh, place the bridge segment, but you want to define some variable along with the bridge axis. For example, then you want to define the bridge height. So I move the constraint that select the variable name to specify the constraint. Also, this variable value can copy it in Excel to OpenBridge Modeler. And you are able, you are able to verify, verify variable through the table and graph. Then OV, OpenBridge Model will apply it to the model and then the model is updated. For each engineer wanted to know each segment maximum length and weight to specify pump traveler capacity. And you can verify it through default button on OpenBridge Modeler. OpenBridge Modeler updated to generate the variable column using custom 2D template. You have to create column template with a constraint and variable for the peer height variation. And it will help you to create the custom substructure more easily. And move the variable column on the multi-column. And you can, you can see two peer with a variable column by default. And I added a pylon using update the function. And select column and change the column type to variable and select, uh, select the variation to specify column template and variable. And you can define column vari uh, variation using predefined variable and constraint. And select a stroke to place the cross girder. You can control specific cross girder size and location. And you can define the isolate through shaft and combine the footing with or, with or without file. Also, you can specify circle, scale, and H shape for the pile. And you can define pile layout independently. Sometimes there is a uh, spatial structure that needed to be modeled, architectural peer or custom apartment. Those elements needed to be modeled using hand drafting tool with a little or not existing parameterization. Therefore, any change in, in the structure force on almost the total lead row of the structure. After modeling those custom substructure, engineer needed to design detail and contact those element. The use of a traditional tool in modeling force, the engineer to re, uh, remodel the structural in his analytical solution and do manual calculation of a quantity. There is also a problem, the most engineer are not familiar with 3D model environment yet. However, the engineer and designer should respond quickly and flexible to design change. To do this, it is necessary to reflect in advance the scenario 
that can be changed to the modeling using variable and constraint. I'm going to show you the user case. It could be difficult to develop using a uh, typical design tool by requirement of bridge engineer. This is the one of the reason why I usually like to give you this presentation to help you for bridge design using open bridge model. This apartment created for Texas DOT in USA. The most difficult challenge was to apply a various shape of corner block to a model. The corner block shape had to be changed by condition. Real bridge square angle was zero, more than zero to 15 below, 15 to 20 below, 25 to 45 below, and more than 45 degree. Also, negative angle had to be applicable. You can see irregular solid element between coping and top of the column, and it didn't allow me to create irregular parametric solid through the functional component in OpenBridge model. That's why this inverted pier is created for the uh, curved bridge using generative component in OpenBridge model. This model allow you can change coping dimension and the horizontal and non super superelevation on the pier. The irregular solid element between coping and top of the column will be adjusted by coping and column dimension. Also, you can control the variable to modify the pile size and number of file. And you are able to utilizing this model to open bridge model modeler anytime. The next step is I'm going to explain how to place the substructure. There are two elevation definition methods on OpenBridge model, model. You can define the elevation that is based on horizontal load alignment or DTM that is laid with the Torre model. We have to activate, you have to activate the Torre model before place the substructure then putting top elevation will define that be based on terrain model. And move to place the apartment and select proper feature. And template. and check the desired option. Select the support line to place the apartment. The template are based on parametric model. So the modeling bagel height and width will be adjusted automatically due to, uh, due to the option even though the template or real size doesn't proper to this, uh, this bridge model. And again, I'm going to place the remaining apartment. And the DTM represented the digital torrent, uh, torrent model. We will place the peer to this model as the same before method and move to, uh, move to place the peer and select a proper feature and peer template. Already I told you future definition will engage to uh, component the color.
and select desired support line to place the peer. And specify putting top elevation that will be based on digital torrent model. Open bridge modeler can place the three type of bridge bearing. Like a cubic cylinder as a cell. And I'm going to place the bearing using uh, using cell type and select a cell template and define the center of bearing and horizontal location from center of load alignment. And specify bearing seat dimensions. And select the support line to place the bearing using pre, uh, predefined information. Then, apartment bearing seat elevation will adjust it automatically from the vertical load alignment elevation. And I'm going to insert the other bearing using same as before method. During you have you have designing the bridge, you will be able to have new load elements from load or rail designer. The main point is we need to recreate the physical mod, uh, modeling, but open bridge modeler doesn't uh, doesn't need to do it because open bridge modeler allow you can change the bridge geometry automatically through the alignment function. Move to attach to to attach new load alignment as a reference drawing. And you are able to confirm fully change the alignment, horizontal and vertical. And move to alignment and select a new alignment to moving the bridge modeling from old alignment. Then all geometry of this bridge will be changed automatically. bridge plan and elevation also. I'm done create a physical model, but we have to verify the elevation of top, putting top because the real terrain model uh, will not flat. Move to open profile model on civil tab and open profile for the vertical alignment and select the 3D cut button to produce to the drawing that be based on 3D models. And change the exaggerated scale and change the top of the putting elevation and select the update to read cut then the drawing will be updated I'm going to explain how to define ship elevation using reference drawing that also generated from open load designer. And specify left and right boundary. And select start station and step spacing to produce to the cut drawing. 
and verify the 2D cut drawing, you can confirm the super elevation didn't define any segment. And move to attach tool to attach the super elevation drawing as a reference. And assign the super elevation using the assign button. And select the super elevation object and segment group to apply super elevation. Then also can verify the data. We need uh, we need a post steps to assign the super elevation because my bridge segment work group did poke construction stage. And you can define the shoof elevation through the constraint before you watch the slide. Then you can conform the super structure that was supplied by super elevation. Structural analysis and design workflow using RM bridge will not be explained in pool due to the time constraints. So I, I also specify tandem point and constraint using variable. I'm going to verify it through section variables. Move, uh, move to verify button. and modify shift elevation and each value related to uh, late, uh, late the section. Then you can see the adjusted tandem point by variables. When, when you start RM, RM Bridge with a standalone in OpenBridge Designer, RM Bridge allow you accelerate design speed through the Bridge Wizard. You can define all information laid with the Bridge Analysis and Design, and it, it will generate analysis report automatically. And you enable to modify or update the Bridge model anytime. Also, you can see several partial results like a cable arrangement, rail, rail and structural interaction modeling, wind dynamic analysis in RM Bridge, and it will help you to create a model more easily. You can customize the calculation report using RM View. You enable to use your company logo, can select the input data, and customize the result diagram. And you can generate the report as a very, uh, very output format. Finally, the pool report will be updated just one click. This bridge type is supporting uh, suspended bridge. And it was a critical issue to apply wave, uh, wave loading to the bridge. And this uh, this engineer consultant want wanted want, want, want to apply this loading in OpenBridge RM Bridge. They con uh, they contacted to bridge uh, uh, Bentley Bridge team, and we enhanced the for the long span bridge that constru construction to ocean. We've always been trying to hear uh, hear your voice of bridge engineer. I will send the physical model to run analysis. 
and then you can select design standard and material group and open bridge model allow you can select the option to create a finite element of putting and file and I'm going to modify spring constant for the bridge bearing X represented the vertical and Z G is for the orthogonal to the bridge axis at the apartment. And I will set up pixel support for the bridge bearing in both on the pier. Also, you can define pile spring constant if you didn't check if you didn't check the pile transport option. You can see the spring uh, spring dash zero for spring constant to connect uh, connect putting and the ground. And confirm desired material lane for each component and send it to RM bridge. Then analytical mode, uh, mode um, analytical model automatically generated. And you and you can uh, you can see the finite element in RM bridge that be based on physical uh, physical modeling. Move to modeler to verify each tandem point names. And select the main girder to verify the boundary condition for this bridge, mo bridge, uh, bridge model. Basically, RM bridge will create a triangular shape of boundary condition for the apartment to simulate uh, actual bridge behavior. And you can see the green element for the bridge, uh, for the bridge bearing and connected ground. The yellow element represents a uh, rigid condition. and initialize created the analytical data and recalculate to check element, node number and structural system. You can see the tender number and segment element. And it is important preparing tendon checking plan. This plan should have a group name and numbers for tendons. For example, LVL indicated the left bottom tendon at left span, and the arrow represents the checking direction. I'm going to explain how to define the tendon profile and stre uh, stressing action for the top and bottom tendon. I'm going to specify the tendon profile on the PL1 only because the other tendon, uh, tendon definition will be similar with this method. And move to cantilever wizard to specify tendon profile and stressing action for each construction stage and create a tendon group. and select the tender material name and specify start offset for tendon numbers and define tendon duct area and specify 
a constant to calculate tendon stress loss. An active segment on, on the PL1. And select point name to each element using control key and mouse left click. And, de and define the stressing action. And then you can see create, uh, created, a, created a tendon. And copy this tendon to create a new one. Then select the point and name to delete line. And copy previous tendon and delete lines. And repeating it until tendon number one one or seven and modify stress label to apply tendon stressing order you can see the uh, decreasing order for the tendon stressing and modify the stressing action that be based on tendon stressing plan and copy this group to create a TRO and modify tendon start offset. And replace point name to TRO from TRO. And complete ten, uh, tendon definition on PR1 using same as before method. But you, uh, you need to modify the start offset and replace point name. Imported the actual construction stage was 17, uh, seven, uh, 17 stage from the physical bridge model, but RM bridge allow you can reduce the construction stage through time stop function. Time stop delays the start of a cliff and shrinkage on specific elements. Also, it will help you to reduce manual work because you don't need you don't need to specify all of construction step. I will specify the element for the substructure segment on the pier and boundary. Also, it will give you all of construction schedule definition in this section. I'm going to explain how to specify the construction sta uh, stage one to seven only. And move to schedule in cantilever to define construction stage and create a new group for this bridge and enter travel rate and gamma for wet concrete. ECC one from the start of a segment to front the anchor point of a traveler. ECC2 is the spacing between front, front and rear anchor point. ECC3 is the horizontal eccentric offset from the bridge axis. And set up the prefix and start, uh, start a stage number for the construction stage. and activate the element laid with this construction stage. 
segments and column putting and boundary element. And specify a stage for the segment on peer, uh, peer one and define the segment on peer two in the same stage. and define the aging period for the substructure. And specif uh, specify the boundary element, enter A in the stage one. And you can verify the activated element in each construction stage. And modify, modify the loading pump, pump traveler. and select a recalculate the analyze to conduct analysis and check the calculation option enter similar uh, uh, summation load case name and move to plot, and you can see the plot for the camber result in each construction stage. You can verify this result to create the Excel file also. You can see uh, you can see same result. RM bridge will generate XML file for levers and tandem profile.
and close the RM and select the update button and select the XML file in OpenBridge Modeler. Then actual tandem profile will be updated. And you can see tendon geometry. Tendon name and area and doctor size. And also you can see tendon stretching and stress, uh, stress action. Plexus, uh, Plexus is for the geotechnical analysis tool in Bentley and it allow you import create a 3D model as a DXF format, adjust the variable to modify the pure geometry and either export to DX format. And import the pure geometry to Plexis. and inactivate the subsurface and base point and specify the offset to place the pier into the into the soil model the next step is apply design load and boundary condition and execute analysis and then you can see displacement diagram and pile posts and movement due to design load and soil condition. And you can see how to place the parametric lever in OpenBridge model and change the workflow to pro concrete and place the lever in column and then you can change the uh, lever, uh, lever arrangement and you can see the left splice and end shape. And I'm going to select the footing to place, uh, to place the lever on the footing. And change the workflow to OpenRich Modeler and change the road alignment And then bridge and river modeling will update that be based on bridge geometry. In this slide, I'm going to explain how to generate a bridge report. Open bridge model allow you can generate a bridge geometry report for survey and quantity report, including concrete volume, poetry segment, and component, bearing, and tendon also. And can check the quantity in a chart. And it can make the report several file extension without any data loss. For example, I'm going to generate this report as an Excel sheet. Just define file name and file pass. Then you can uh, you can you can see generated report and same format and same chart. And the bridge engineer have to create a real coordinate uh, coordinate report for the construction survey, but it is not easy to generate it at required time. You will we will be able to create the report anytime for geometry report and select desired geometry. and define the boundary to generate the report.
and set up the location and permit to present the report. You are able to uh, see the result and verify each location for the report. OpenBridge model allow you enable to produce 2D drawing using several ways. Dynamic view is the one to create 2D section drawing for select, uh, select the station and select the desired station and set up the drawing style and drawing board. Then the drawing extracted from 3D model. and go to setting button to set up the substructure drawing format and style. And select substructure to generate the drawing. And you can see the apartment drawing, plan, section, and pile arrangement. Those drawings are to the uh, those drawing are to the drawings produced by OpenRich model uh, for the pilot project in LADOT. You can see the bridge plan, peer gen uh, general view, and river detailing drawing. I usually like to show you more elaborated drawing generated by each engineering company, but please understand that I cannot show you it for the security issue. You can create the bridge model using the bridge wizard and it will help you reducing your design time. And I'm going to attach two reference files for the alignment and terrain model. But you, you don't need to have alignment then OpenBridge model will create a new straight alignment and select the bridge wizard to generate the bridge model and give the bridge name and specify bridge type Laid the uh, laid the template for the superstructure and substructure and barrier. Also, you can select the alignment and start station to place this bridge model. And also you can customize uh, material, uh, material lane for the each component. It will take, uh, it, it will take uh, just, uh, just one minute, uh, less than one minute. And also uh, you can, uh, you can, you can, you can send this model to uh, leap concrete bridge and then you execute an analysis through leap concrete bridge. The model with the component should consolidate into the power and model file. The component will be crashed due to miscommunication and manual data transfer. And you could find out the computer uh, the crash to 3D model by manually. But it will be harder to find out the crash, a crash detect to the consolidate model. OpenRich model allow you can, you can check the crash detect automatically.
but you need to define crashed fact rule. You can also make the rule using attached reference file. and define the clearance, then you can see the crest component visually. And also, you, uh, you can activate crashed component only. And you can see uh, you can see the help resource to help you learning OpenBridge Designer more easily. You will be able to access recorded video through the hyperlink in help resource. Also, you can get the help anytime from Bentley Technical Expert. You can use Synchro for the simulate, not only construction stage, but also safe, uh, safety uh, detection. You can create a bridge component without any data loss to simulate construction stage. I'm going to take the bridge model and the temporary structure to the Synchro, import divide the proper, um, project for the bridge and temporary structure for construction simulate, simulation to Synchro. And you you need to spec uh, spe you need to specify to active com active component and construction schedule for the simulation. And you can simulate that be based on construction schedule, and you can verify the quantity for each construction stage on the chart on the top right graph. And you need a re uh, reality simulation when you complete bridge model uh, to predict how this model affects to the real side. Also, you can simulate traffic uh, tra traffic flow uh, using uh, big sim data. In uh, in addition, in additional, I spent two days to generate a whole of bridge model using open bridge using open bridge model by myself. Already, already we understood uh, that it will be layer to design the bridge as a produ uh, product of a one company. And Bentley has been utilizing IFC to make the connected uh, to make the connected and open the design environment. Already, I told you, BIM is not CAD. BIM is a deal with the process, data, and chain the management. And Bentley has developing an enhancement, enhancement to make the connected design environment through the IFC. You can generate the IFC using two methods. I'm going to export the bridge model to IFC in open bridge model and select a generated bridge model to export IFC and enter pro concrete export IFC command a uh, command to key in
and specify the directory to save the model and then IFC file will export. And move to previous folder and open the IFC file with a build, uh, building smart. And you can verify the exported component. You can see the way how can I export IFC through the connect, uh, connect center and go to late, uh, late the project and select I model to open the pile. And you can see the modeling history laid with this model. And select the desired model version. Select the export to IFC. Then verify the contents for exported. Check the IFC version. and move to Bentley Cloud Service to open exported IFC file. And download it to the local computer to verify the component attribute and building smart. and open the exported file for the review. And then you can verify the export, exported pro, uh, profile and geometry through uh, building smart. Okay, now we, uh, we will open the flow for Q&A. All right, uh, thanks Eugene for the insightful presentation and demo. Uh, yeah, if you have any question, please uh, type it out in the uh, uh, chat section of the GoToWebinar panel. Uh, maybe we take the first question first. Um, yeah, someone is asking, um, can we export the model created in OpenBridge Modeler to other software like Revit or third-party structural analysis software other than uh, from Bentley? Okay, if the other company are ready to import IFC, already you watch, watch the how can you uh, generate IFC file from open bridge model. So you, you, know, you can utilize IFC file to the other software. Okay, um, yeah, is there um, other questions? Uh, before that, someone is asking if uh, he can get the presentation file. So um, actually, this session is recorded. So um, right uh, after a few days, um, I will send everyone who attend uh, this session the uh, recording link, and you can uh, watch directly in um, our YouTube channel. Um, any other questions before we move forward?
Okay, maybe while we wait, um, yeah, I would like to um, show something to everyone. Okay, um, we'll be having our annual year in infrastructure event in uh, on 1st and 2nd December virtually. So uh, this is an event where uh, users would, um, our users will compete with their unique design um, in their respective categories. And uh, the winners get to feature in uh, our Bentley publication. So um, if you can attend, uh, you'll be able to learn on um, how these um, um, users complete their complex projects using uh, our Bentley software. So uh, to sign up, just visit um, yii.bentley.com and the registration is uh, free. Okay. All right, I don't think there's uh, any more questions from the audience. So uh, I guess uh, this will be the end of our webinar. And uh, yeah, I would appreciate if you can fill in the survey questions after this. So um, while well, um, after this event, if you have any questions, please uh, drop me an email and I will uh, liaise with Eugene to um, help to answer your query. So uh, we hope to see you again in our next event. Um, goodbye. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.